Joining us this week is Dr David Smith, lecturer in American politics and foreign policy at the United States Study Centre at the University of Sydney. David Smith, welcome. Thank you for having me. Now, what did you make of these comments came from former Florida Governor Jeb Bush earlier in the week where he essentially said that the Republican Party today has gone too far to the right and that his father, George H.W. Bush, and even Ronald Reagan, conservative icon, would be out of place in this party. What, has he got a point? Oh, yeah, that is somewhat true. I mean, Ronald Reagan raised taxes as well as cutting them. He granted amnesty to 7 million immigrants. He negotiated with the Democrats in Congress. So by today's standards, if you said you were going to do all of those things in a Republican primary you probably wouldn't get past the early rounds, although a lot of people who subsequently get elected as Republicans do continue to do those things because that's politics and well, you just have to. Well, well, well that's all, obviously yes. all correct. What, what I'd say is that there's a fairly cheap point made by whoever made that because if you look at, as you say, Reagan, he raised taxes mm. as part of a deal. Yeah. He, he had immigration amnesty as part of a deal. And, the, and what the Republicans say is that he got betrayed on every one of those deals. And mm. that's the reason why they're never going to have another deal. Like, they <laughs> learnt from the, the mistakes that Reagan and Bush won made. And so, then, and so that's the reason they are what they are now. And they had to deal with a, a Democrat Congress as well. It was in the middle of that 40 years where they had to deal with Absolutely. And I'd say, surely, if Mitt Romney can win the Republican nomination, I reckon Reagan could twist himself enough to win the Republican nomination in 2012. You know I mean? You can't take him out of historical context. Like, Abraham Lincoln had policies which wouldn't win the Republican nomination now, but right, right. if they existed in 2012, it'd be a different matter altogether. D does it matter, though, David, given that the Tea Party, even though they would oppose a lot of what Ronald Reagan actually did, they still hold him up as an icon? Yeah, I mean, Reagan's just become this catch-all kind of raw shark. You see whatever you want in there. And Liberals today look at continuously point at Reagan and say, look, he was great and you guys are all just messed up. Whereas the Republicans say, you know, this was the last true conservative president and no one else in American politics has ever measured up to him. In fact, Reagan is a useful forgetting device for them for trying to forget about George W. Bush. <laughs> uh, the more they talk about Reagan, the less George W. Bush ever happened. And it's interesting that Jeb Bush in these remarks mentioned his dad, mm -hmm. mentioned Ronald Reagan, did not mention his brother. Yeah, right. Now, what about the guy that's currently trying to become another Ronald Reagan, Mitt Romney. Uh, you've done a lot of work looking at Mormonism, which hasn't really been a sort of a, a top of the agenda item so far in this election. People have been dancing mm -hmm. around it a bit, but you did an analysis of, of how this played out last time you ran for president in 2008. What did you find? Uh, well, so I did an analysis last time he uh, ran for president, and certainly conservatives really had a lot of concerns about Mormonism, although less mm. at that time was known about Romney and Mormonism. But the study that I've done this time around shows that not only has conservative distrust of Mormons, because they don't really consider them Christians, stay kind of stable, mm. but also there's now a huge amount of distrust of Mormons on the left, on the liberal side of politics, and among people with weak or no religious commitments. And I think that what's happened is increasingly people on the liberal and secular side of politics see Mormons as part of the conservative religious alliance along with evangelicals. But then Mormons are in this really awkward position where evangelicals think that they're possibly heretics. So <laughs> Mormons are in a very awkward position at the moment. And even though Romney managed to overcome this uh, to get through the primaries, possibly because he was the only candidate who couldn't have been mistaken for a circus clown... Um, <laughs> It, it is still hurting him. Mm. There's conservatives who have a problem with Mormons are still a lot less enthusiastic about Romney. But